the best Japanese cuisine. It's Oja, Hibachi Grill, and Steakhouse. So we have the Perrant Family Resource Center, and um, in that we take designated funding for veterans. And so we qualify veterans for that cash funding. We'll use their DD-214s or something else to prove that they were veterans. And then um, obviously with fundraisers like this, we then have cash support to help them with utilities or gas or rental assistance or other needs that veterans have. And so um, this would be perfect for a lot of people who either are um, having problems getting housing or are homeless already. They're able to qualify for this? Um, they have to be a veteran. And um, for uh, like a $3,300 fundraiser, which this was, and $12, like BJ said, uh -huh. um, it's not like we're going to, you know, be able to help with a ton of housing per se, but we can certainly help with rental assistance. We can help with propane if they need propane filled. We can help with um, gas if they need transportation money somewhere. Um, we can help with power bills. You know, we've got all kinds of resources until the money is gone for those kind of things. How do people uh, go and apply for this? They just call us at the office, 751-1118 and the Prompt Family Resource Center. And. Um, uh, if um, if uh, people like to donate to the program, can they do that? They can. They are certainly welcome to donate, and they can a um, absolutely designate their funds for veteran supportive services, and we will be sure that that always goes directly to a veteran. How many veterans are you guys helping right now? Do you know? Um, I believe that we had, um, at the last quarter, 14 veterans that we helped with funding from fundraisers that literally ranged across. We helped one move uh, his trailer into a different mobile home park. We helped with gas. We helped with propane. We helped with some rental assistance. I think it was 14 in the last quarter.